Good morning, cultists. Welcome back to another Unbalanced Breakfast with the Loops. In the last episode, we ended things off after having gotten into the ruins where the Master Override is. Actually, it's called Gaia Prime, I believe. This is, I think, where um, a Gaia was located, or rather the uh, mainframe of Gaia was located. I don't know if I have the terminology down pat, but anyways... We're looking for the Master Override so that we can um, restore Gaia. But we have to, of course, shut down Hades before we do that. I'm um, just going to make sure that I have checked everything. Does it kind of look like that elevator um, shaft had a couple of different paths? For whatever reason? Hmm. I wonder if maybe... What is the purpose of this, like, secondary-looking path, I wonder? Why does this exist? No, 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 Aloy. Go to that one, please. There. Why does this exist? Hmm. Curious. Very curious. Okay, but we're sure there's nothing here. Like, 100%. Hmm. Okay, well, maybe I'm just being paranoid. But it is so very strange when they give me a different option options to get down without any real reason or seemingly any real reason to do so. Oh, what's this? It's nothing. Fantastic. I just made a fool of myself. Great. And there's nothing over this way, too. All right, fine, fine. I was wrong. I thought that maybe there'd be something there. But clearly, I was not in the right. Fine. We'll move on, then. As, you're ins as per your insistence. Whoa. It's quite the explosion you had going here. Um, Gaia. Wow, wow, we wow. You know what this gaping hole kind of reminds me of? Um, you guys ever play Fallout 1? Uh, you guys remember the, um... What was that place with the... Really blowed up? The, the, the hole? Shit. Um, when you wanted to join the Brotherhood of Steel, they asked you to go down that, uh, crevice. That area. That's what this place kind of reminds me of. <laughs> Shit, now I don't remember the place. This might look like it could harbor some secrets here. Because this is definitely not the path that I've been told to go. That is not something I can break. Fantastic. Anything in here? You've got to have something in here. <gasps> this should be the last power cell I need to get to that ancient armor I found. What? Oh my god, we did it. Oh, sweet baby mama. We did it. We got the last power cell we needed. Oh, sweet mammy jams. Okay. Well, obviously we can't... <sighs> wow. Obviously we can't do that right now, but... Um, once we're able to get the hell out of Dodge... Guess that's my way across. Yeah, once we get the hell out of Dodge, or once we're able to fast travel or whatever... We'll go to uh, pick up that armor. Hot diggity damn. Whoa. Holy crap -oly. Oh my god. The things it's, that uh, she does. held like this for 19 years. Right? Well. D don't answer. <laughs> yeah. I would. As I was saying. I would definitely shit myself. I, actually you know what? Even attempting half the things that Aloy has done so far. Oh, glad that's over. I would have shit myself, like, non-stop. It would just be a stream of diarrhea behind me, um, making it very easy for me to track. Hey, here's that uh, fucking psychopath hunter guy who's been uh, shitting himself non-stop ever since he was born. Oh yeah, that guy. He's uh, real fucking easy to attract. Just follow his shit stink and, uh, you know, lead you right to him. Do I go up or down? Okay, so the quest marker says I should go up. 
<laughs> but let me just make sure I have explored. Not this way. Maybe further up the shaft. Yeah, that's great, Hannah. But let me make sure that I've looted everything. And this was a rather pathetic room full of... It's where dreams go to die. And I was just in it. Bit of an odd one to climb there, Aloy, don't you think? Especially when there's one right next to you. She seems to have issues when climbing things at an angle. Yeah, she's, uh, she definitely struggles. Not to imply that she has any real difficulty. Because let's face it, if I tried any of this, I would definitely be struggling. Especially now. A few years back, um, I was actually able to, <laughs> I don't mean to brag here, but I was actually able to do a lot of pull-ups. But those days have long since passed. Must have been where they lived. And I... What's left of it? Once oh. This was all enclosed by rock and metal. I wonder if this was also Elysium. Hmm. Record. I just woke up. It's... I see the numbers, but can't make up the time. I was dreaming of... Uh, I was giving a lecture in Q Hall. Maybe it was something more... Shamanistic, I, I don't know. An audience of shadowy faces under a blank open sky. I told them the world ended with a bang. A plague of robots. But the last humans. We went out, not with a whimper, but a whisper. You know, in caves, ending like we started, huddled around a flickering glow. The heads of state, the Fortune Fives, the leaders, and lottery winners, and life cults. All of them buried in their little shelters. Some believing they'll live it out some way, somehow, or Elysium, or us here at Gaia Prime. No different. A multitude of tiny societies taking hold, flaring, dying. Some will be beautiful, some horrific. And none of that matter. Short term civilizations. One last gasp. One last gasp before the long-held breath. Before I wake up, I know the audience is gone. I'm talking to myself. To a quiet planet. A barren sphere. Just Gaia. And her long, long dreaming. I hope she won't be lonely. Well, I mean, she had uh, Hades to keep company. <laughs> Oh, not really. I mean, it was just one of our directives and all that such. Okay, no. I gotta check the other things. Finding the power cell has inspired me to, uh... Never leave any nook and cranny untouched. That's right. In the most sexual ways possible. But, nope, that was a waste of time. <laughs> ah! Oh, what is that? Evacuation happens so fast. No time to think things through. No time for goodbyes. There were lines in the medical ward. I told Tom Paik I'd be with him when he went under. But there was one last shipment of parody Saidi zygotes I could get processed if I rushed. I'm still angry at him for forcing me to choose. Angry at myself for... Well... He died alone, and I didn't get the bloody birds of paradise saved either. All the time left in the world now to think. Gaia Prime's locks are sealed. Elysium sealed up, safe and sound. A distance of miles, but it might as well be on the other side of the galaxy. All the beaters and gammas and support staff living their lives. If I hadn't been an alpha, if things had gone differently, I could have been there. Instead, I'm spending the rest of my unnatural life in here with people I don't even like. And without the one, I would have gladly spent my life with. Given the chance. Two hours since I signed off on the final executables and I'm already a bitter old man bitching to his focus. There's a thought for future generations. Hmm. I wonder if he was with uh, Tom Paik, the Australian doctor who decided to uh, 
you know, help out with a project and then end himself. Because he was a uh, an outdoorsy man and whatnot. Huh. That is an inoperable door. Fortunately, I can't chip it away without with my indomitable spear. So it does seem to be able to cut through metal, so... Hmm. Anything over here? Nope. Alright, cool. Fine. I guess these caves are somewhat linear. But there's still... Uh, not a ton of branching, but Elizabeth's just some... Room. I know it. She didn't even get a chance to unpack. These are her journals. Elizabeth's journals. And they're all destroyed? Scan them. The focus can rebuild them, but the process is slow. To us, it seems a powerful device, but its engine is tiny and limited. How slow? Days, weeks, years. Concern yourself with stopping Hades and extending the future, and you might live long enough to hear them. Solid state storage devices. Cursory scan indicates severe data corruption from impact and exposure damage. Oh, right. When, uh, when Gaia exploded herself. Alright, anything else I need to scan? Or did I scan everything? Alright, let me make sure that I pick that up. Ah, that's all the crap that I don't need. Thank you very much. Where is Elizabeth Sobek's diary? Oh, I see. That's all these. Under repair, under repair, under repair, under repair, under repair, under repair, under repair. Under repair, under repair, under repair. Got it, cool. I see. Alright, so I'm assuming that'll come to me after the game or something. Wait, she didn't even have time to unpack? What does that mean? Hmm. Wait, where am I supposed to go? Up? As in, go watch the movie Up and cry? At the first, uh, couple minutes? Because that is the single saddest thing in the entire universe? Well, I mean, one of them, at least. Oh. What is this? I guess we'll find out. Examine the shrine. Give me a sec. Bunker door. I'm um, just going to make sure that there isn't anything that I should scan first. What lies here, I wonder? Oh, that's a dead end. Here is... Oh, I can pry open the door. Should I do that now? Hmm. Sure, let me do that now. Just in case I miss this. What do you got for me, door? What do you got for me? I don't know. I guess I have to pry this open. One open too. <laughs> Let me guess. Garbage, right? Fuck. That's it. I came here for this. Damn. Fine, fine. I'll accept it and be grateful and all that shit. But that was really useless. Jeez. Ah, that's what I get for exploring. Alright, fine. What is this shrine? This is Charles Ronson. I'm logging this six hours after final deployment of Gaia Prime. This morning, an access port seal malfunctioned. Gaia Prime's port seals were designed to close with a seam of less than two millimeters. But this one closed with a ten millimeter gap. Enough for an energy signature to bleed through. Enough for the swarm to detect this facility. Enough for Gaia to be discovered and destroyed. Enough to end the future we worked so hard to make possible. Unless the hatch servos were manually re-engaged from the outside. I'm now switching to a recording of the event. Well, I'm not going out there. Not what I signed up for. Either we sent someone out, or all of this was for nothing. It should be Liz's decision. So when is she going to get here? She said five minutes. You don't think... Oh, no. OK. 
Okay, everyone. I've repaired the seal. Gaia? Seal closure at 1.4 millimeters. Confirmed. Elizabeth, no. We'll find a way to bring you back in. It's not gonna happen. The swarm's too close. Really. It's all right. Gaia's complete. She'll take care of things from here on out. That's what she does. Not like this. There's so much we- Guys, you know me. I'm... I'm no good at endings. At letting things end, so, um... Let's not. So... Happy trails, Liz. And... Uh, see you around. Yeah. Take care of each other, all right? Liz. I'm okay with this. I want to go home. Goodbye. That was the last transmission of Elizabeth Sobek. She gave everything for the hope of life on this planet. And we are all in her debt. Shit. Oh. That's heavy. Didn't expect that, that's for sure. Try talk to silence. You'd hate it, Liz, but I wrote you a eulogy. I had to try to express all your children. After all Apollo has taught them, they'll think they know everything. But they have to understand what you did for them. How you loved the whole world so much. With an intensity that was dazzling. Bruising. And in the end, it killed you. Or you died for it. Different perspectives. No one could keep up with you, live up to you. I, I don't know, maybe if, if, I, if I hadn't taken that postdoc in Joburg... <sighs> I'm glad you shot down the Lightkeeper protocol in the end. I don't think I could have taken seeing another one of you. I mean... Elizabeth Sobeck... There's only one. I miss you. Look, Liz. You're a pretty stand-up gal. I'm sorry you died. If you had a home to go to, I hope you got there first. But this monument Ronson's made to you? Kinda creepy if you ask me. Rest in peace, Liz. God knows you earned it. Hell, Liz. I know. I know you're never gonna hear this. That's not the point. You, uh... <laughs> you got to play the savior in the motor all at once this time. Great work. Is... Is that it? Really? Really, Ted Farrell, you rat bastard? Aloy? She's gone. Really gone. You knew she couldn't have survived, Aloy. And her achievements were... beyond exceptional. While her people bickered, she was the one who took responsibility. The only one who could. She was better than them. That's not what I said. She was. You shouldn't be afraid to admit it. Hmm. You think she was better because she was smart. Because she designed Zero Dawn, but you missed the point. What made her great was that she was willing to sacrifice herself. For others. For everyone who would come later. No. She couldn't let her creation fail. You're confusing will for sentimentality. You're wrong. Remember, she knew it wasn't enough for Gaia to think. She taught Gaia to feel. To care, to sacrifice, to believe in life. Enough to fight against hopelessness. If it wasn't for that sentimentality, life would have ended. You and I would never have existed. Your argument is sound. I'm sorry for your... Loss. 
She said she wanted to go home. Maybe. What? Nothing. It's time to go on. I wonder where she lived. Another question that I have um, in terms of the lore is where were the other cradles located and did did all the other facilities also have this malfunction? Because as far as I'm aware there was only one Gaia, right? Did they all, are they all experiencing this hellish derangement crap? <clears throat> Hello Margo. How are you holding up? Um... Dr. Onsen, I've been getting a lot of messages, unsolicited messages, from Ted. Oh, Margo, I'm sorry. With Liz... gone, we've got no one to run interference with him. I'll talk to Ted. He mostly wants updates, constant updates, hundreds of updates on things he knows nothing about. Liz used to field all of his crap. He doesn't understand the systems at all. I was kind of by design, but he's getting pretty sketchy with me. We just have to keep him happy. Liz always said, keep him happy. Are you kidding? You ever hear how she talked to him? <laughs> she was managing him, Margo. I mean, maybe I should ignore him. He's buried in this pyramid with the Hola Hola girls and Panta Antimon Cuckoos. What can he do? <laughs> I don't know what that is, but... I'm assuming they're strippers or something. Fantastic. Alright, at least he, uh... <laughs> went out happy? Maybe? Who knows? It sounds like that, um, that Texan guy definitely did, though. I forget what his name was. It was something T, wasn't it? Ah, well. Not important. What are we going to plug into their heads, Les? A whole lot of history? A whole lot of so-called truth? A whole, a whole lot of noise? It's not pablum, Les. It's poison. I wonder if Ted Farrow sabotaged Apollo because he didn't want people to uh, remember him as, a, uh, as the guy who caused all of this. Huh. Because Apollo must have failed for a reason, right? Couldn't it just failed randomly? Or could it have? And also, what happened with Hades? How did it start? I gots to know! Just gots There's to another know. another section at the back of the crater. Looks like it survived the blast. Alright, Because cool. it was armored. You found the control room. I'm on my way. Have I found the control room? How do you know? Also, you could have definitely um, made that jump without, you know, jumping so dramatically there, Aloy. Not that I'm criticizing you. I couldn't have pulled off what you just did there, but I'm just saying. Okay. Let's climb up and zippity doo. Fantastic. Ah, random data point. I'll be taking that. I've, I've been taking a hard look at the project. In the end, it's simple. It's clear. Erasure. Addition by subtraction. I can make it better, Liz. With a single stroke, make it all go away. I really don't like the direction this is going. Oh. Continue. I think it. I think I was right. I. Th I think Ted Farrow fucked it all up. I think he sabotaged everything. That rat motherfucker. That fucking asshole. Huh. How do I... Where do I go? <laughs> um... Am I supposed to... Weird. I'm not sure where I'm supposed to go right now. You gotta say... Oh, no. Right up there. Fantastic. Oops. Guess they didn't see the obvious. All right, and up this way, please. Unless there are some data points that I must access. But I don't think so. I don't think so, no. I think we're good. Oh my god. 
terrifying sometimes. Most of the times, actually. So, do I go that way, or... Okay, I go through here. Right, right. Before I do, though, I'm just gonna make sure that I have checked everything on this side as well. Because otherwise, I'm not doing my due diligence. And I gotta get that lore, man. I just gotta get that sweet, sweet lore. It's like crack to me. Oh, baby. Oh, give me that sweet lore. Anything over this side? No, it doesn't appear to be. And this is just completely obliterated, so... Nothing. Alright. Good job, game. Good job. You, uh, you lured me with the sweet promise of lore, uh, lore and uh, I got nothing. Thanks. Thanks for playing, toying with my emotions there. When I opened the hatch, the air rushed in from this side. Because there was none inside the chamber. But the alphas were in there. Hmm. I'm guessing Ted Pharaoh killed all of them. I'm locked out of core control. Alpha clearance overridden. What the hell is Omega clearance? Oh no. Alpha personnel. Sorry to alarm you, but... I need you to listen, okay? To what I'm about to say. This isn't easy. See, uh... <clears throat> I've, um... Uh, please. Stop trying to access the system, okay? See, see, what this is about... Is... Um... I said stop trying to access the goddamn system! And wh what I'm trying to say... Is... I can't stop thinking about the ones who come after us. Those innocents. Those blameless men and, 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 and women. We're gonna give them knowledge? Like it's a gift? Ted, Ted. We've talked about this before. Apollo has 3,000 plus failsafe conditions. It's not a gift, it's a disease. They're the cure, and we're gonna give them the disease. Our disease? No. We can't. And it's not too late. If we're willing to sacrifice. Ted, it doesn't need to be like this. It already is, Samina. I did it three minutes ago. I've purged Apollo. It's gone. All of it. Every copy. A sacrifice? It's not a sacrifice. It's cultural obliteration, you crazy bastard. Millennia of culture. I'm sorry. Really, I am. But sometimes, to protect innocence, Innocents have to die. Emergency alert. Planting atmosphere. I fucking knew it. I fucking knew it. It was all Ted Farrow's fault. <sighs> Oh my god. Oof. What makes me so angry? Oof. I'm legit. Oof. That. Oof. I know it's just a game. I know it's just a game, but still. Oh my god. I need a moment. Holy shit. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. The, the the concept of like destruction of knowledge just enrages me to no end. Like I I, I got upset at the notion of like um the burning of the uh, you know of the uh, library of Alexandria um I, and I talked about this during uh, Assassin's Creed Origins and like you know the destruction of Timbuktu and um, all the knowledge stored there too. Oh. Fuck. <laughs> Good job, game. Good job. You've, you've made me really feel some stuff here. Holy crap. He, he killed them all. 
So this is why. This is why we were trapped in benighted ignorance for an innocent future. Blameless men. <sighs> he never saw the slaughter in the sun ring. Everything these people achieved, all the knowledge of the old ones, evaporated, turned to dust, scattered to the void, like the alphas themselves. No, not a void. When the hatch unsealed and scattered their ashes on the wind, it took them out among the world they made, the world we're living in. It's, it's a monument to what they died trying to accomplish. A monument to oblivion. Not oblivion, silence. Hope. All right. Claim the master overwrite. Oh, it's in this room. Oh. The master override. It's so small. Now all you have to do is kill Hades with it. How? How do I kill Hades with it? That's the question. Hmm. Alright, well, I'm hoping that we don't have to face another Royal Rumble out here. Oh, I have to go this side now. Okay, cool. I guess we'll try to return to Silence's uh, workshop and then probably end the episode there. That didn't sound good. Try not to fall to your death. The master override doesn't override gravity. <laughs> nice. All right. Um This doesn't look safe. But sure, let's do it. Here we go. Oh. Keep holding. Thank goodness. Keep holding. Ooh, I thought for a second I was legit gonna uh, miss that one, but thankfully the game is more or less idiot proof for the most part. Well, that's not true. I have definitely died to my idiocy many, many times before. Okay, are we back there yet? So I think once we end the episode, I'll probably start our next one. Um. Assuming that I can fast travel and not locked into another uh, story mission. I'll probably um, start this at the ancient armory so that we can get the uh, armor, um, the outfit uh, thing. Here, Whoa. Here. For a moment. What? Our journey together has come to an end, Aloy. But before I go, I think I owe it to you to tell you the rest of the story. Go on. Some time ago, I admitted that I'd been involved with the Eclipse. But I never told you the full extent of my culpability. The truth is, I was there at the beginning. I found Hades Aloy, buried on that mountain, trapped in that shattered titan. And I served it. What? It promised knowledge and delivered such knowledge. You have no idea. And in exchange? I helped create the Eclipse. Helped it build a cult. An army to do its will. Why are you telling me this now? Because your success depends on knowing this. When I found Hades, the first thing it wanted to know about was the Spire. Not Meridian. The Spire. Now why would that be? Spire was created by Gaia. Which part of Gaia? M Minerva. It's code-breaking module. Gaia built spires to transmit the codes that deactivated the Pharaoh robots, shut down their biomatter conversion systems. Hades wants to send a new transmission to wake the machines so they can devour the world all over again. Yes. Based on what we've learned, that's my conclusion as well. So the Eclipse, the robots they've resurrected, they're just a means to an end, an army to capture the Spire. Yes, so Hades can exterminate life all over again, unless you stop it. I want you to tell me everything. Hades, the Eclipse, everything. It's a long story, Aloy. Then get started. It began with a focus. 
recovered from an ancient ruin, as yours was so many years ago. In my case, the device was heavily damaged. There was just a flicker of life in it. I spent weeks studying it, attempting repairs, until finally, I succeeded. A whole new dimension of perception revealed, right before my eyes. That's when I detected it. A faint signal. Out there, something was searching, just like I was. A real kindred spirit. I followed the signal to its source. A shattered titan, buried in the jungles of the jewel. So you thought it was a titan? An old war machine? I didn't know what to think. I'd seen such wreckage before. The Grave Horde, for example. But this was different. This was not quite dead. It couldn't speak when I found it, until my repairs gave it a voice. So began an exchange of knowledge. It wanted to know everything about our world, its tribes and machines. But the Spire was always its foremost concern. What did it want to know about the Spire? Its precise location. The surrounding geography. Who controlled the land. Meanwhile, Hades revealed to me many of the intricacies of ancient technology. It bid me to recover and repair more focuses. Before long, I had a couple dozen up and running. Enough to equip a small army. The commanders of one, anyway. I didn't care. I was learning so much. Physics, calculus. You have no idea. And the Shadow Karja? How did they become involved? The Karja Civil War was a happy coincidence. A perfect opportunity. <laughs> An opportunity? That's what it was to you? Yes. Overnight, half the tribe was in exile, desperate to win back Holy Meridian. Their religion made them easy to manipulate. All I had to do was present Hades as the buried shadow of their mythology. So yes, it was an opportunity. I arranged for High Priest Bahavas to meet with Hades. Helis was there as well. And so the Eclipse was born. Anything to win back Holy Meridian. But Hades didn't care about Meridian. And neither did you. We live in a world of fallen cities and vanished tribes. What were a few more? Besides, I was too busy setting up the cult's focus network to Hades' specifications. <laughs> a thrilling technical challenge, especially with the alterations I included of my own design. The ability for you to spy on them. Yes. I may have been foolish enough to serve Hades, but I was never so foolish that I trusted it. I installed what the ancients used to call a back door in the network. Secret access, empowering me to monitor all activity and communications. What made you turn on Hades? It certainly wasn't your conscience. Actually, I was troubled the first time I saw the Eclipse raise an ancient war robot. With my technology. I questioned Hades about its intentions. A little late? Indeed. I'd already outlived my usefulness. When I completed work on the Focus Network, Hades summoned me to receive my reward. The next moment, I heard it broadcast my kill order. I've been a fugitive ever since. So when did I come into this? Our path together? When Olin stumbled on you. System threat detected. That got my attention. A kill order against a savage Nora girl? Why would Hades bother with that? But then I saw that this Nora girl was wearing a focus and bore an uncanny resemblance to a great scientist of the old world. Helis moved quickly. I thought you were dead. But then I detected your focus inside the Nora mountain. The more I observed you, the more convinced I became of your extraordinary nature and usefulness. Through you, I could finally discover the secrets of the Earth. 
I vowed to do everything I could to ensure your success. The rest, as they used to say, is history. Wait. How did... How did he have a backdoor into Aloy's focus, though? Because she found it in the ruins. So unless he planted it there... Hmm, maybe he just found some way to um, get a backdoor into all focuses. Uh, do we forgive him? I don't think Aloy is the vindictive type. You've done terrible things, Silence. But you've also done what you could to undo them. I can't say you've balanced the scale, but at least you've tried. To be clear, Aloy, I would do it all again. A few more safeguards, perhaps. But basically the same. Really? So much for learning from mistakes. I've done all I can. From here on out, the rest is up to you. Take my lance. Fit the Master Override to it, and you have a means of injection. Then I just need to get close enough to Hades' skull to stab it in? Exactly. Oh, no problem. Silence! Where will you go? Elsewhere. And everywhere. There's so much more to discover before the world ends. And all this? I leave it to you, of course. As it turned out, it was yours all along. I was merely trespassing. in shadow incorrect bow before the buried shadow the buried shadow i i don't understand did araman understand the glint hawk that perched upon the alight it speaks scripture araman followed the shadow cast from the spire to the mesa where holy meridian was founded you will follow the shadow once more I am a righteous man, chosen of the sun. But in times of need, the powers of shadow can accomplish what the sun alone cannot. Will, will you return to us what is ours, O oh, shadow of prophecy? An army is required. Obey, and Meridian is yours. Of our obedience, you can be certain. Hmm, okay, so that's how silence convinced them. Task is complete. Yes. The focus network is active, built to your specifications. Check it yourself if you must. I'll wait. But I remind you of the reward you've been withholding. Quantum processing? Data has been compiled. Volume too great for transfer. How inconvenient for me. Come before me. You shall receive your reward. Very well. Helis, threat detected inside Eclipse. Speak its name, O Shadow, and it will die. You will eliminate this one. Silence. Silence? Yes. A truth whispered at night is seen in the day. He was never one of us. It will be done. I traveled far to find you. I heard your transmission. It was you, wasn't it? Entity is not known. I'm called Silence, 
And you are. I don't think you'd have called out if it wasn't something you wanted. You called, I responded. Will you tell me your name? Hades. You are a creation of the ancients. A war machine. Define timeline. Time? Ah. It is the 13th king of the Karja Sundom's reign. Define Karja. We're getting ahead of ourselves. Were you created by the ancients? I wonder how long you waited here, buried, until I chanced upon you. How long you'd have to wait for another. You're obviously very powerful. But you're not going to get anywhere without me. Titan Frame merely houses intellect. Define Karja. Now that's more like it. Hmm, I see. So Hades transferred himself inside one of the uh, bodies of the Metal Devil or, you know, that thing. Okay, let's do this. Oh, whoa, that looks cool. Oh, damn, I wonder if I can uh, modify the new... Oh, look at that, guys. Ah, uh, yes. Get another one in these. Or one, another one of these, rather. Hot damn. All right, well, uh, with that, let's end the episode. I have to tell Avad that the Eclipse are ready to strike. After what happened with Durval, I know he'll defend the city. But the Spire... Uh, can I just get down here using this elevator? No? Alright, well, let's end the episode off here for now. Um, we'll come back tomorrow and I will be at the Ancient Armory. The Looming Shadow. Doesn't sound like the name of a final quest. It does sound like it's the penultimate, um, thing, but not the actual end itself. I don't know, I could be wrong, of course. But, uh... Yeah, so that's what I'll do. Um, I don't foresee any events happening in between now and uh, the Ancient Armory. So I think I'll just fast travel there. Actually, let's end the episode after I've collected this armor. I'm hoping that um, getting this will result in a very, very cool looking outro. Where she steps out in this Iron Man suit and just completely blasts everything. Or so I think, anyways. Okay, repair fuse number one. There. Great. Yes. I just need to slot in more. Fuse number two. Okay. Some kind of code. I think the old ones use numbers like this to indicate time. Oh, I see. So zero. Okay. Um, and the first one is twelve o'clock. Fair enough. Fifteen hundred is three o'clock. Okay. So over to that Maybe side. Some more information nearby. Uh, 1800 is well three hours at so six o'clock. Looks like each dial has four positions. Yep, yep. Maybe if I get and each dial in the right position. There we go. Now to check the door. Is that it? <gasps> Those we did clamps it. have the armor locked in place. Oh. Maybe there's a way to power up the mechanism. Oh, I clamps. see. Okay, um, cool, I guess I'll take that. And what's in here? Alright, more stuff that I need to sort through, um, in between episodes. Do I go in here at all? Just need to install oh. these power cells. That should do it. Okay, Only first one more. done, and... Second one, one done. More. Oh wait, there's three! Oh, I see, I did collect five power cells, okay, there that makes go. sense. The last one. Okay, what do you got for me? These numbers. They must be related to segments of a circle. Mm-hmm. So the first one is 90 degrees. Fair enough. Um, the second one is 270. So, no, Aloy, second one, please. There we go. Third one is 360, okay. Fourth one is 450, so it's 90 degrees. And the last one is 630. Um, so that would be 270. Did it. 
Let's have a look at that armor inside. Oh, baby. Right. Now let's see what we can do with this material. Wait, what do you mean material? Can't you just wear the armor? Wait, what does this thing say? Ultra Reeve Progress. Uh, from uh, Major Garrow to General Aaron Harris. Ultra Weave Progress. General, you wanted fast, cheap, and good, and that's what we're going to deliver by using a flexible nanofiber weave instead of plating and enhancing protection with a 400 EV hard light uh, micro projector. We reduced our te testing cycle from weeks to days, and I'm confident that we can get the suit out by next month. Uh, with enough protection to cover dozens of elite units, at least. Better yet, it'll be half the weight, half the cost, and offer twice the mobility. All we need is the balance of our funding. A few more techs and another experienced test subject. I know resources are stretched to the breaking point, but any more delays will jeopardize the schedule, so please advise ASAP. May God uh, be with you and Jane in these dark times. Semper Fi, Major Garrow. All right. Oh, Iron Man suit. Can we become... Can we become... Oh, look at that. Wait, that doesn't look complete. Oh, we... We, we just collected the armor. Okay. Oh, also, I have um, eight skill points for whatever reason, so there we go. <laughs> I just got everything. Fantastic. Is this it? Shield Weaver outfit. Outfit? Wait, what? Whoa. Pretty cool. Not what I expected. Okay, so I guess Aloy took the materials and crafted their own thing. Alright. You know what? I'll accept it, and now my health is all blue and shit. I'm gonna go test this out in between episodes to see what it does. Yeah, um, and we'll come back tomorrow for what I assume will be the last episode. So for now, thanks for watching and have a good breakfast.